Hello, and welcome to FPS Coach. My name is Ron Rambo Kim, and in this video, I want to do an in depth breakdown of Simple's aiming mechanics. And for those that aren't familiar with CSGO, at the time of this video, Simple was ranked the best CSGO player of all time. So here's a ranking courtesy of hltv.org of simple stats and you can clearly see he's he's the best right now and that's all time all the matches and all the players and in 2018 he was also voted the best player of the year and he's currently on track to repeat that number one spot at 2019. so in order to be the best player in the world you've got to have one of the best aims in the world which simple certainly has and what makes him so unique is that no one in the history of CS has seen a hybrid player like him who can be impactful with both the rifle and the op. And, you know, you'll have specialists where, you know, you have a player that's just phenomenal with an op, but maybe subpar with the rifle. And in Simple's case, you can argue he's a top three opper and a rifler. And he's also got one of the best deagles in the world. So in every phase of a match from pistols to ecos full buys to half buys he's got this potential to do one shot one kill and it's just terrifying to play against because he'll punish anyone that he sees like his aim and his reaction speed is so crisp if you give him a shot he's gonna land it most of the time so here's simple's aiming settings so his in-game sensitivity is 3.09 and i mentioned in one of my other videos that I think the average hovers around 2 to 2.3 with 400 DPI. So in Simple's case, he's well above the average. And we'll see what that looks like in game here in a couple minutes. And he uses default zoom sense of 1, DPI is 400, pulling rate 1000 Hz, window sense default at 6, and raw input 1. So again, the thing that pops out to me is this really high sensitivity. And he's also kept his default zoom sense. Another thing I want you to notice is his actual mechanical positions. So his aiming arm, you can see that he does have most his forearm on the table and it's very level or horizontal with the table. It's like flat, right? And then also notice how close his chest is to the table. And because he has most of forearm on the table and in order to have support a decent posture with that forearm position, the closer you sit to the table, the better you are for your back. So for example, if he was far away from the table and he had that same forearm position, in order to keep that, you'd have to lean forward and slouch forward. So just something to notice there. And here's a front on view of his mechanics. And in this angle, I want you to notice how far his right elbow is flared away from his body. It's almost like, um, in golf you call this a chicken wing so his armpits are spread open with both his uh, keyboard and mousing arm and his elbow is flared away so it's kind of like if he was hugging a tree right so it's like really wide and here's another view showing exactly how wide his mechanics are compared to say his teammate electronic to the left and notice how electronic he's got his um, left keyboard hand it's, it's armpits are connected, the elbow's closer, and it's, um, it's not a symmetrical position compared to simple. So if you look at simple, if you, you know, cut his, uh, if you drew a line or cut his uh, body in half, it would be mirrored. So it's a very neutral position. So here's a video recording of simple practicing his aim mechanics and sensitivity. And this was the most recent video I could find with the best quality and a webcam on his mouse. So it's about a year and a half old, but we still can see a great example of how well Simple knows his mechanics and how well he controls his crosshair and mouse. So the key things I want you to pay attention to is one, how well he keeps his pivot point. So his forearm crossing the table, it doesn't move, it's, it's locked to the table. And so is his wrist. And he's able to do this with his wrist because of his high sensitivity. And when you have a higher sense, you don't have to shift or adjust your forearm or your wrist placement as much as you would with a lower sensitivity. 
like in the video that I made of Nico in the form control. You know, Nico uses, he's the opposite of simple, he uses the super low sensitivity. So he has to use more of his mouse pad space and he has to incorporate more forearm in order to compensate for that low sensitivity, but not with simple. He's got the higher sensitivity, which is, I think in my opinion, more difficult to control. You know, when something is more sensitive, you need more control. And what he does so well is that his wrist control is just world-class. It's phenomenal. And you can tell here that um, how much control and confidence he has flicking left and right. And it's just so crisp, especially in this particular point of view or this certain funnel of vision that he has. And again, this is what I call the where you get most of the work done in CS, you know, compared to like Overwatch where you have to look up and down and behind you and all these directions. Well, most of your work in CS gets done in this particular point of view or funnel. So after Simple feels sufficient that his rifle's warmed up, he'll move to his op. And the thing I want you to pay attention to now is how well he's able to flick his op in every direction. So up, down, left to right, right to left, in every uh, verticality and horizontally, every combination of either or. And he's doing this because this is the kind of motion that he's going to be using in a match because of his play style. He's one of those players that like to get up close to people, uh, take map control, and push the pace. He's not a passive opper. So he's practicing the mechanics and feels that he would use in a match. And the other thing I want you to notice is if you check out the webcam with his aiming arm, although he's aiming with these crazy movements and large distances, he's still able to keep his pivot point on his wrist relatively the same. And he's able to do this because he does something where he lifts his mouse and then recenters it back into the middle or neutral position. So for example, you'll notice sometimes he'll, his wrist or his hand, uh, it turns to the right or the left, like the maximum range it can go, and then he'll lift his mouse and center it back in the middle, which allows him to be in his ready position or his comfort position. You know, that the position you would be in if you would start a match, it's not, you know, leaning to left, leaning to right. So that's something to keep in mind, the lift off and recentering, because if you don't do this, what I see amateurs do is that they'll, sometimes they'll aim to the right and their wrist is bent to the right. And they don't, instead of recentering, they try to continue playing on in that outer region or that maximum range. And it's just not, one, it's anatomically not comfortable and good for you, but two, it's not, um, if you're maxed out aiming to the right with your wrist, you can't aim right anymore, right? So it's good practice to, if you have time, to recenter your mouse back to that neutral position. So here's another clip of simple warming up. And what's interesting to see in this clip is that now he's just practicing the horizontal movement. And he's purposely placing his crosshair away from the target and flicking and shooting based completely on feel like he he's not even giving him a chance to uh realign any miss flicks it's just like a completely feel based thing and he's just trusting his range of motion and again just one of the best wrist control and flick shot players in the world and it's it's a lot of fun to watch and another thing i want you to take a notice at is is camera on the left and again, notice how wide his arm positions are. And again, that, that wide hugging a tree type of position and how low he's sitting to the ground. So you can see the table, it's pretty much intersecting right under his chest or right above his rib cage. So just something interesting with the setup there. So I'll load up a couple clips here and we can see what it looks like uh, in game and how well he's simple is able to transition his high sensitivity and all of his warm-up that he does in, in muscle memory practice and inside the game. So here's a, a pistol round here. He's got a retake B and 
you know, he's, he's flicking around, he's advancing, and he's just so crisp with this first bullet accuracy. So in this clip, notice how he takes an extra half second to make sure the crosshair's lined up before he actually shoots. So what most beginners do is that they'll just shoot immediately when they see someone. So nice spam through the box. And just insane flick there. And we, we saw him and then there, he's lining up that shot on Cat before he shoots. And again right there too, he let the CT strafe back into his crosshair before he shot. So just great patience and reaction speed. So knowing when to shoot and when not, when to flick. Yeah, awesome example here of the benefit of high sensitivity, being able to look in every direction. And here, simple with the quick flick op shots. We saw him practice this earlier where he was constantly moving his mouse around and then able to flick exactly to his, uh, his target. So again, his just really super aggressive play style. And when you have an op and you can just one shot, one kill, it's just extremely difficult to play against. In this clip, he's putting his crosshair here in the middle so he can shoot both left or right wherever the T advances. So he's crosshair in the middle and boom, just instant flick shot, just a perfect example of how well he can flick and how comfortable he is with his muscle memory. And boom, another example here. You can see from the webcam, he even impressed himself. And we'll see a slow-mo here. And that's just a ridiculous shot because he's aiming both vertically and horizontally. And again, he's just so comfortable with every region of his mouse around his comfort zone. And here, simple, he's playing a reaction speed. And some of the other players that I've worked with um, anything under 200 MS was really good. Um, so anything like 170 to 180 MS is just like ridiculous. It's like you pretty much got lucky or you're just insane. So, you know, when you have this reaction speed with full control of high sensitivity and the wrist control that he has, these are all the reasons why he's one of the best aimers and he's able to do just do so much damage time and time again in tournaments. So hopefully this video helped in some way. Like it if it did and subscribe to stay up to date. Thanks.